Hello, and welcome to Reelable World News. My name is Dr. Richards. And I'm Dr. Williams. Thank you for tuning in for the weekly broadcast of November 27th, 2020. This week, we'll be talking about Disturb's new album, Down With The Virus, the brand new leading cause of death that is now beating coronavirus, and YouTube's new hit duo. Jeez, Dr. Richards, I don't even know if I can do this right now. I am still so stuffed from yesterday. Sounds like you're more stuffed than my cousins were. It's time to unbutton your pants, let your gut hang out, and get ready for these hit articles. I couldn't have said that any better myself, Dr. Richards, so let's jump right in. Disturbed is a huge band. They have had several number one albums, but they might be onto their biggest album to date because they're talking about a topic that is relatable to everyone. Disturbed is gonna be the first band to tackle COVID. How exactly are they tackling it? Are they donating money to COVID health funds, trying to find a vaccine? Are they trying to maintain social distancing? What exactly is Disturbed doing? Even better than all of those things, Dr. Richards. Disturbed is going to release a 10 song album exclusively with lyrical content tailored to educate people on the virus. This is extremely unfortunate. I have listened to Disturbed for decades now, and I've never once understood a single word they've said in any song. So how is this going to spread COVID awareness? Dr. Richards, I know for a fact that isn't true. You definitely remember the words, Oh, wah! Everyone knows those words. Oh, ha 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 ha. I just don't think that this is really going to have any societal impact at all. Well, Dr. Richards, you'd be wrong. Disturbed has solved many crises in the world with their lyrics. They've solved suicide, they've solved depression, and they're going to solve COVID for sure. I'm confident that Disturbed has caused more suicides than they've prevented, so I think I think that the band and society would be better off if Disturbed would just shut up and supporters like you would shut up as well. Please never speak about Disturbed ever again. It's starting to sound like you aren't down with the sickness at all. I guess you could say that I'm a little bit disturbed myself. You know what's really disturbing, Dr. Richards? That COVID isn't even the biggest problem the world has to worry about right now. It is not even the biggest killer. Then what is? COVID is awfully scary. It's even canceled Thanksgiving. Dr. Richards, I think you and I both know what I'm talking about. The number one killer in the world right now. Is it drunk driving? Close. Kangaroos. Why hasn't Disturbed written an album about kangaroos then? What makes them so dangerous? Disturbed just isn't ready to tackle such a gigantic issue right now. Or they're just not Australian. True, they're not Australian. And this is a problem mainly in Australia, but kangaroos kill so many Australians that it actually has made a huge impact on the world's total deaths. We're talking the number one killer in the world right now. I've heard about them killing dogs, but humans? Well, Dr. Richard, sometimes a human is your dog, and kangaroos are killing a lot of them. Whether it be an unwarranted assault, a driving accident, or through poisoning, kangaroos are killing a lot of people. Could you just give us some details about how they're causing driving accidents? Is it a lot of kangaroos being hit on freeways? What's going on? I wish it was that simple, Dr. Richards. Believe it or not, this is a real problem in Australia. Kangaroos will just jump in your car at a stop sign. They'll knock you unconscious, jump in your car, and kangaroos can't drive. And just next thing you know, it's Grand Theft Auto. I guess you could say, hey, those little cunt kangaroos better get out of my vehicle. Isn't that right, Dr. Williams? Chris Hemsworth couldn't have said it better himself. But kangaroos don't just kill people with cars. They also have gnarly back nails behind their feet. So when they kick people, they actually disembowel you. I mean, your poo is going to be everywhere. That is an embarrassing way to die. That sounds terrible. And kangaroos, they poison people? They actually do. Their pouch is full of poisonous berries. They collect them from trees, and they drop them into the local water supply. These little cunts just won't stop. Hey, you little kangaroo cunt. 
get your berries out of my water supply. That's what I would tell the kangaroo. I used to pretend my ex-wife was a kangaroo just so I could use similar language when discussing her. I agree with that, Dr. Williams. Wow. I know Thanksgiving is close, but I am extra thankful for that story. Me too, you little cunt. Let's move on. Speaking of moving on, YouTube is moving away from Smosh and moving towards a different comedy duo. I know just the one you're talking about. Ryan and George. Ryan and George is right, Dr. Richards. This comedy duo is unstoppable. They just won't stop. Nobody can stop them. People have attempted, but they can't be stopped. Dr. Richards, what exactly makes Ryan and George so unstoppable? Well, they just can't be stopped. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can you tell us a little bit about them, Dr. Richards? I'm a huge fan of Ryan and George. I've seen attempts to heed their progress, but nothing can stop them. So basically, they're unstoppable. It's something like that. All I know is that it is time for you to jump on the Ryan train and George caboose because there is no stopping this unstoppable force. So they're a duo, yes. What kind of duo? Are they friends, lovers, siblings? They're a special breed of sibling. I am very intrigued. Go into a little bit more detail. What special breed is this? They are absolute freaks of nature. They look the same, they sound the same, and they can't be stopped when they work together. So they're like everyday normal siblings, but unstoppable -er. Exactly right. Doesn't it get confusing that they look and sound the same? Wouldn't it just kind of seem like it's one person? It does, but one is always on the left half of the screen, and the other is always on the right half of the screen. Well, there's no way anyone could get confused at that point. Wow, I know Thanksgiving is getting close, but I'm extra thankful for that story. Just like Ryan and George, there is no stopping the imminent Thanksgiving. A lot of people are trying to stop Thanksgiving. But anyways, on to the weather. We talked a lot about Australia today, so let's talk about the Australian weather instead. I don't know a lot about Australia, but I assume it's like kind of hot and muggy or something. Hot and muggy indeed. I would probably say, hey God, you cunt, turn down the weather. I would love if there was a little bit of a cool breeze, but Australia appears to be perpetually hot and miserable. And venomous. I feel like it is venomous. Speaking of venom, that reminds me of this week's horoscope. Two nights ago, I got bit by a spider and it bit me three times on my inner thigh. It created a series of red dots going up my thigh, moving toward my intimate parts. And it reminded me, if you are able and capable, use your intimate parts whenever you can, any way you can, especially during the holiday season. I couldn't have said that any better myself, Dr. Richards, unless I was Australian. I would have said, hey, you cunt, use your intimate parts, cunt. Wow. And for that, I am thankful. Give this video a big thumbs up if you think that kangaroos should become extinct and Australia should be freed of this danger. Or give this video a thumbs down if you support the death of as many Australians as possible and you hope that they will become extinct one day. Wow, what a cuntastic news week. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the most realable news on the internet. And we'll see you next week. Dr. Richards. Dr. Williams. Signing, signing off. off.